This is the most famous basketball school in the entire country. C. Sierra Canyon has become the premier destination for the children of NBA stars. Hall of Famers like LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Scottie Pippen have all chosen this school for their kids. But I wanted to know why and how this school has turned into a celebrity hotspot. So today we got exclusive access to their storied facilities, saw behind the scenes into the lives of Bronny and Bryce, and got to speak with the man who built it all. So with that, let's head inside and meet with head coach Andre Chevalier, who will be giving us the tour and the answer to Sierra Canyon's biggest secret on how to land non-stop stars. We made it out. Sierra Canyon, we're here with the head coach. Hello, everyone. I am Coach Andre Chevalier. Uh, I have been the head coach at Sierra Canyon for the last eight years. Very proud and honored to be here. I mean, if you want to start right here, this is this is a crazy wall you got going yeah, right off the bat. This is, this is not bad, considering that uh, our high school is very young. I think we're probably you know 19, 20 years old at the moment. Now, in just their short history, Sierra Canyon has seen success in nearly every sport, not just basketball. See, their girls' basketball team is coming off a national championship just a year ago, their football program has won two state championships of their own, and their volleyball team is the top of the line. These are our state championships, our regional championships. On um, our rings, we've been fortunate enough to be successful at every sport. It's a wonderful place to be. The great thing about Sierra Canyon, though, is not just the athletics. It's the balance of the academics, the arts, the culture. Uh, so in addition to it being a great athletic institution, it's a wonderful institution as a whole. I think the, uh, the next question I got to ask about is the wall of NBA to jerseys over here. We have been very fortunate, not just men's basketball players, but the women's program is very elite as well. We have WNBA jerseys in here we have NBA jerseys the men's team has had somebody drafted over the last eight years probably six to seven of the years I know we've at least had um, the last five six years in a row uh, we've had somebody drafted to go to the league so that doesn't happen to every program no nah. um, so to be able to say you know NBA talent has come through here I think it really speaks to what the institution does to support uh, athletics and the student athletes all right so now that you guys have gotten the idea of the talent that has walked these halls let me introduce you to the secret plan for today. See, Sierra Cannon has seen numerous superstar players come through these doors like Marvin Bagley Jr., Bronny James, Scottie Pippen Jr., and now Bryce. But I wanted to put Coach Chevalier here on the spot and finally answer one of the most asked questions in high school basketball. Who's better, Bronny or Bryce? That's so hard for me. And let's just say, when we asked him, Coach gave us a shocking answer. When you look at the numbers, I think it'll be but for now, let's head into the gym and find out why people are calling this court Hollywood. But this is where the magic happens. This is our gym. Again, considering that we are only 20 years old, I mean, if you look around, just our, our state championship banners are the large banners that are around the gym. Our girls team, they were national champions in 2023. Uh, Juju Watkins, the, the great Juju Watkins. Superstar. Also went here. Uh, this is really the hub of where we try to get things done, where we create culture, and where we create community. The students in here are going crazy yeah all the time yeah, you get some yeah. cool faces what's right. what's it feel like on game day i mean just over the last five six years really akin to like a high level college or even an nba game with the number of celebrities that are sitting in the stands wait pause it right there did he just say celebrities the number of celebrities that are sitting in the stand you see sierra canyon is located one of the richest towns in the country floor seats at this high school often look like you're at a lakers game with how many a-list celebrities you can find in the crowd i mean imagine being an opposing team leaving history class and having to play in front of kendall jenner drake kim kardashian lebron james and more so i wanted to know how does this school prep their kids to play in front of this kind of star power. I mean, obviously you get the big names, you get the celebrities on the sidelines, but you know, this is still a regular high school, am I right? Like it's yes. still, you know, regular kids that aren't coming from, you know, super high celebrity pedigree or anything like that. So as a coach, how do you prepare those kids that aren't used to the spotlight to be ready to go and put, got, they got to go to history class and they got to come play yeah. in front of Drake. Like how do, yeah. how do you get them ready for that? I mean, I, I don't know, you know, I, I didn't have a formula for that, right? Um, but I think again, um, our culture of, of excellence and our culture of, preparation gets them prepared, you know, no matter who's in the gym. Uh, and, you know, obviously I think the shock of having, you know, LeBron and Drake walk through the door the first time is probably going to, you know, alert every kid. Uh, but after a couple times, you know, they, they get locked in and they play. And I think especially the elite of the elite, right? Those, those kids, they, they want to perform at an even higher level when people, you know, that they think are great um, are sitting on the sidelines. So, you know, we have to talk about those things happening, right? Because they happen yeah. quite often for us. Um, but just having a conversation, uh, you know, mentoring them, talking to them, letting them have a platform to be able to express and, and let us know how they feel allows us to be able to help them get through it. But you're right. 
Our kids, we're not a prep school, so our kids have to go to class every day, mm -hmm. right? Like, we start at 8.30, we get out at 3, uh, they're going to their classes, they're going to lunch, you know, it, it, it's also great, right, to have that balance. I think one more question I got while we're in the gym is like, how did Sierra Canyon kind of become the pipeline for the NBA bloodline coming through here? Because at this point, it seems like every year there's somebody new sending their kids out to Sierra Canyon. I mean, I think the location obviously lends to that. It's beautiful out here. Right, you know, this location, um, Calabasas is closed, Hollywood is closed, so there's a lot of NBA players that live in the area, celebrities that live in the area. I mean, but I think and hope, you know, they, they've seen the success over the program uh, over the years. And, you know, they feel like this is a place where their kids can be taught, grow, and be mentored. Uh, and so I think the combination of all of it uh, is the reason why they continue to do. Put you on the spot a little bit. Which which team do you think in seven would win a tournament out of all these state championships? In up here? seven. It's I tough. think I'm always, it, it's very tough, right? Like my first or second year, 2018, 19, they're the first ones to win um, the Open Division Championship state. Uh, and then they went back to back. It, it's hard to, to, to fight against them. That was KJ Martin, Scotty Pippen Jr., Dwayne Washington, Taryn Frank, uh, Cassius Stanley. Three, four, or five of those guys end up going to the NBA. Uh, the next year we have pretty much the same group, um, but we added Christian Coloco, who also got drafted by Toronto. Uh, and so those those two years would be pretty difficult to, <laughs> to <laughs> you, fight against. You guys have like a. Uh, a we waiter? have a locker room. Yeah, locker we have room? a locker room. Yeah. Let's check it out. Now that we know which team will be going down in Sierra Canyon history as the best. I wanted to see more of their facilities, so we headed to their locker room, which is lined with jerseys of every single D1 player this program has produced. Jerseys across the, the locker room are um, where our, our kids have gone to college. This is where we get to have tough conversations and oh, yeah. talk. You know, the eye in the sky don't lie, so you know, we get to really kind of dig deep into film. And I, uh, I'm gonna, I gotta check out these McDonald's All-American yeah, These are yeah. sweet. Did uh -huh. they, uh, they send you guys out these, or, or do you get these, these special are, made? These are the ones that are made. Um, but yeah, man, to, to be able to have, we had two McDonald's All-Americans back-to-back years. Uh, so to have two back-to-back -back years and then Bronny to follow, um, you know, I think it, it speaks volumes of some of the things that we've been able to do. Yeah, I, th I think something cool that I've always kind of wondered from the outside, for especially for a school like this, you know, with obviously LeBron James is the biggest athlete ever to exist in America, like maybe in sports. Yeah. And, you know, they've done such a great job of, of keeping Bronny and, and Bryce into a school where they have just a regular high school experience and, yeah. and are, can just be regular kids. And yeah. so obviously from a media perspective, you don't get to see a ton of them, which is a very much a good thing. Yeah, 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 for sure. With Bronny in the league right now, what, what was he like uh, in the locker room? Bronny, uh, just let's, let's talk about outside of basketball, just across the board. Uh, he's a wonderful kid. He's a loving kid. Uh, his parents have done a magnificent job with him. Uh, Bronny uh, progressed as a leader, right? Mm -hmm. I think one of the wonderful things about Bronny is that as a freshman and a sophomore, right? He just was a quiet leader. He took in, he learned, uh, he watched how other people lead. And then as a junior and a senior, uh, he started to use his voice, uh, give direction, uh, pull his teammates, you know, along with him when people were struggling. And then one of the greatest things, when he was, anytime that Bronny was injured, he was the greatest uh, cheerleader that anybody could be for their team, mm -hmm. right? And so to have somebody of that caliber uh, supporting you, the best player supporting you uh, and pushing you, and making you feel like even though he's not out there, he's out there with you. Yeah. You know, I think that he, he's special in that way. Very, yeah, very proud to say I, I coached him. I love it. Sure. I love it. Outside of the basketball facilities, this is one of the most gorgeous schools in the country. And kids from all over the world come to this place just for the arts. <laughs> Students also get an entire parking garage to themselves, a protected gated entryway, a gorgeous brand new football field and baseball field with weight rooms attached for all the athletes, and a beautiful basketball court right in the center of campus. But before we check that out, let's head in to Coach Chevalier's office located right in the heart of it all. Oh, this is sweet. Yeah. So These the actual jerseys, jerseys mm -hmm. uh, the Chinese jersey is, uh, we had Harold Yu, uh, Yu Ji Hao, uh, his, his Chinese name. Uh, he was with us, but when COVID hit, he had to go back to China. Uh, he was rookie of the year uh, in the CBL. Daily News article, my daughter and Cassius Stanley um, were the area players of the year. <laughs> oh, that's uh, sweet. So that's pretty dope. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Uh-huh. And then these are some of the basketballs from our championships, from our trip to Europe. And then if you come in here, you'll see there's a picture collage of some of the players. So we went to China. Harold was on our team uh, the year that we went to China. And the reason that we did it is because we wanted our kids to see what Harold experienced on a daily basis oh, so with cool. culture, 
with food, with language barrier. Uh, and so that, that trip was, it was amazing. And it was, uh, to say the least, it was like the Beatles being in China. People were chasing after the bus, the arenas were full. So it was, uh, it, it was a great experience for us. Now with everything in the basketball center completed, we still have one final question. Out of every superstar NBA player's son that has been at this school, who was the best? Was it Bronny James or is Bryce even better? Was it Kenyon Martin or Scottie Pippen, maybe Dwayne Wade's son? Well, Coach Chevalier has seen them all up close, so it's time to finally end this argument. If you had a pick out of all the NBA sons that you've had come through these doors, which of those players do you think will have the highest ceiling in the NBA oh, or oh. future? Uh, uh, that's so hard for me. I can't really <laughs> even answer that question. So got it's, some not only, it's not only what they're doing currently for you, but it's also the potential that, that, that they have. So, and I think that potential changes over time. So I think it, it'll be impossible for me uh, to answer that question. I, I mean, the fact that they make it to the NBA right is one of the greatest accomplishments in the world when you look at the numbers of like how many people actually are in the league ever in their life in a lifetime you know i think it's a great accomplishment so i, I can't answer that question. So, very last thing tomorrow I have to go play in a run with jordan lolly and uh -huh. uh, a couple of the nba guys i think clay thompson and, uh -huh. and a few other dudes like that are going to be there yeah any tips what do, what do i got to do to not look like i'm an idiot on the court play defense pass the ball that's what i'm saying that's what we're doing don't people. shoot <laughs> Play defense, pass the ball, right? Don't get in the way. That's my advice. I think it's perfect, man. I appreciate don't you having us out. Yes, sir. <laughs> Since you guys are still hanging out, why don't you click subscribe? We have so many more tours lined up and ready to go of all the most iconic basketball facilities in the nation. So I'm telling you right now, you're not going to want to miss any of it. See you guys.